Hello everybody! Welcome back to more RPG Maker MZ tutorials. In this lesson, we will cover how to install plugins into your RPG Maker projects. Firstly, we're going to have to go outside of our game for this one. For now, let's get this site open. I would like to use this CGMZ, also known as Casper Gaming MZ. But before I use this plugin, let's check the terms of use. All resources in this are free to use in all types of games, commercial or not. This includes CGMZ plugins, miscellaneous MZ resources, and legacy resources. If I use something in here, I will give credit to Casper Gaming and a link to the developer main page, which can be found at this, including a link back to where you found the resource helps other find useful resources for their games. Alright, that's all the terms of service. Now let's get into installing a plugin. For this, we're going to learn how to install the CGMZ Core plugin. For this, we're going to click on Get Plugin, and we have the zip file. Let's open it up. And what we're going to do is click, we're going to use our, our zip file extractor, click Extract, and then we're going to choose our file location for this game. So we have our game, and then we click on JS Plugins. Select the folder there, and, we'll, and it will extract to there. All right, now that we have our plugin extracted, let's just make sure that it's in our game. Let's check by clicking in this plugin manager button right here. All right, we got our plugin list here, and now let's check. We click on general settings, name, CGMZ core. Here we go. Now our CGMZ core plugins are right here. And for this, it should be placed above all other CGMZ plugins. We're going to keep that for now. As you can see, we have our core and we have it. Now let's look at our plugin commands for this plugin. We're going to we're going to we're just going to enter an event and we're just going to look at our advanced settings and plugin command. Plugin CGMZ core all we have is this initialize. Let's just delete this. All right, now that we have that plugged in, let's get another plugin. Let's go back into our CGMZ, and we're gonna look at some plugins. Let's see here. How about the Toast Manager? That should be good. We're gonna click on Get Plugin, and we have this zip file. We're going to extract. We're going to choose the same file location we did earlier, which is in JS Plugins. And OK, we're going to extract our Toast Manager. All right, that's, that's that taken care of. And now let's make sure we have it plugged in. All right, click on Name. Click on Toast Manager, and we have on. Here are some various settings that the plugin uses, which is something like max window. For this, we have max window count, spacing, width, fixed width, height, fixed height, display time, display from bottom. We're going to adjust this treasure. We're going to adjust this treasure to have it do a toast. Let's do this in the plugin commands. Plugin toast manager. Now we're going to choose a color. How about this color? How about this color? That should be good. All right, now we're gonna do a icon. There we go. Insert icon index, this.
Now let's see what this does. Let's enter our game and test out this Toast plugin. Hmm, let's try that. Well, we know that it works. Let's just make sure if this works. Let me try this again. I changed it to lowercase i. Hmm. It still doesn't register the backslash. Let's just make sure. You know what, I'm just going to remove the icon for now. We'll probably try and fix this in a later episode. everything you guys need to know on the basics of plugins. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you guys think I should do sometime soon. That's, that's this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.